Well, we're enjoying lots of sunshine today and some mild temperatures are on the way in. We started off cold this morning. We had the cold weekend and blustery conditions, but uh, we're getting treated nicely now by Mother Nature. As we look through our York Sky Cam, you can see all that blue sky behind me. Just a nice shot there. Temperature here, 55 degrees, so a nice jump from the cold readings we had this morning and the winds are on the light side. The forecast for today calls for temperatures to top out in the mid to upper 50s. I think a few spots will eat even touch 60 degrees with all that sunshine that we have out there. Tonight, though, the clouds will be moving back in across the area. It won't be as cold, though. Those clouds will act as a blanket and hold temperatures in the mid to upper 30s ahead of our next storm system, which will bring some showers in tomorrow. So you definitely need to find that umbrella. Morning showers will be on the light side and then pick up intensity as we head through the afternoon hours and the evening. It will turn windy tomorrow evening. However, nothing like what we had last Friday and this past Saturday. Day. Uh, but you can expect wind gusts up near 25 to 30 miles per hour. Current temperatures, we have 50 in Carlisle, 55 in Chambersburg now, 57 in Gettysburg. Still holding on to 40s from Sealands Grove to Harrisburg over towards Lebanon, but you will bust out in the 50s as we head through the next hour or two. It'll be a nice day all across the area, and that's due to high pressure just dominating our weather. Our next storm system is off to the west. It will gather its energy and moisture and head in our direction, bringing us the chance for rain by tomorrow morning. Just some light stuff to start off the day, but you'll want to make sure you have that umbrella, even if it's not raining at your house when you leave, because when you come home, it's possible you will be en encountering some uh, moderate rainfall. Here's a look at 8 a.m., and you can see most of the valley is dry, but some of that shower activity will start to spread in on the tail end of our morning commute, picking up in intensity as we head through the afternoon, and then the front will come through by early Wednesday morning. There may be a leftover shower Wednesday, but I do expect it to stay dry. And even though that front comes through, it's still going to be on the mild side. And then this storm system here, this is what we're watching for the end of the week that will bring us the chance for a wintry mix, believe it or not, after the nice day we're going to have today. Rainfall put, uh, potential is anywhere from a tenth of an inch up to a half an inch, and there could be some isolated amounts even higher than that by the time this system makes its way through. Winds will be uh, picking up tomorrow evening, and again on Wednesday, you'd see wind gusts up close to 30 miles per hour, but again, nothing like we had the last couple of days. Here is a look at your forecast for tomorrow. It is an impact day. We do have showers around for much of the afternoon hours, so the evening commute may be slow. Temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s on Wednesday, and then all eyes will be on that storm system towards the end of the week. That could bring us a wintry mix. But one thing is for sure, it is going to be followed by much colder air in time for the weekend.